Hey there, Sharon Hoyles from here. Welcome to day 115 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're talking about the second step in the goal process that we identified in January since we're getting our goals and doing what we want, doing something every day to create and get what we want in our lives. Every day this year, we're focusing on goals. This month, we're focusing on spiritual goals. So the end of the month, did it the last couple of months and will for the next six or seven months. We're going to talk about the last days of the month, the goal process that we identified so we can take a goal this month, spiritual, a spiritual goal and walk it through each of the seven steps in the goal process. Today, step two is set a SMART goal. We want to set a SMART goal for the spiritual goal that we identified yesterday. So yesterday we thought about our current situation with respect to spirituality. We thought about our desired situation with respect to spirituality we looked at we looked at what we didn't want first which is our current situation because if we were satisfied with our current situation we wouldn't set a goal in that area we're already happy with that but it, that's how we quickly and easily identify what we want to create by looking at what we got that we don't want it works in every area and aspect of our life as well as spirituality so we did that came up with a, an area that we want to improve in some way or change in some way <clears throat> for me there's lots of different things we could look at, right? We could look at gratitude. We could look at uh, compassion. We could look at forgiveness. We could look at all different emotions, but we're focusing on spirituality. So we could look at our spiritual practices. We could look at our level of um, ascension or any of the topics that we've talked about this month. But what I did is I picked and I chose <coughs> and I decided um, to work in the area of service and how I can make the world a better place by doing something or serving people that uh, maybe are underserved or that need some help in some way. And I have always been interested in helping people with chronic pain. I, I started a long time ago to because I experienced chronic pain in my 20s, chronic pain in, in a lots of different areas and aspects of my life. And so I get it. I, I know how stressful and how negatively it impacts our life. So I decided that as a form of service, I am going to start a side business that offers uh, products and services that benefit people with chronic pain. Chronic pain is, of course, not you break your arm, you go to the hospital, or you have a surgery, and you've got some follow-up care. It goes away in a month to three months. Chronic pain is something that usually is uh, systemically wrong with us that causes us to experience pain sometimes continuously, sometimes on a daily basis, sometimes debilitating pain, depends what it is and what the root cause of it is. Uh, the challenge, there's lots of challenges with chronic pain and I've studied it a lot and worked with it a lot. And I've got people in my family and friend group that also experience and have experienced chronic pain. And it can be debilitating. It will shut you down and stick you in bed faster than anything else. And so I was in that position in my 20s and I needed to find a way out of it. I found a way out of it, thus being here today. So I want to create and start a business that serves those people. So that's my specific goal. And I'm going to run through the SMART framework with you. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound using this as the goal. So that's my spiritual goal that I've chosen to run through this entire process with. Step one was what's your current situation with respect to doing this? Uh, you know, not much. I've, I've always been passionate about it, always been interested in it, personally experienced it, wanted to do something about it, but it was never really the right time. Uh, desired, I want to, by the end of this year, that's the time bound part, create a product or service or group or community that impacts at least 500 people. I was going to say a thousand, but I thought I better make it more achievable. So I knocked it back to 500. So by the end of this year, and that's totally measurable, right? Either I've impacted 500 people or I haven't. Either there's 500 people in our group or there aren't. Either there's, uh, is it achievable? Yes. Well, how do I know? Because I've created lots of different businesses in my life and lots of different groups and communities and grown them to over 500. So I know I can do this too. Is it relevant? Yeah. There's a lot of people hurting in the world right now, right? How many of you know somebody that has chronic pain? or has, is currently experiencing chronic pain. Almost all of us, right? And chronic pain can, can have its root in our spiritual well-being and beliefs. It can, in our physical, our mental, emotional, it can come from all different places, which is part of why it's so hard to identify and so hard to help people to uh, live with or overcome 
uh, you know, the pharmaceutical industry loves to put band-aids on things and they're great at that, yet those band-aids are actually debilitating and causing more harm than good. At least it wasn't my personal situation. Don't know about yours, but often that is the case. So that is my, my SMART goal for spiritual goal setting process. And then I will work through that through the rest of the steps too, right? So tomorrow, I'm not going to tell you what tomorrow is. Step three, you probably already know. But today, our action item. Pick one goal in the area of spiritual well-being, spiritual health, spiritual growth, spiritual <clears throat> whatever you call it, and take that goal and put it in the SMART framework, right? What is the SMART? Make sure you if you think about specifically what that goal is. How is it measurable? How are you going to measure it? How are you going to know? And I just said launch one product or service by the end of this year. Uh, that was my measurable one. Either I launched it or I didn't, right? It's It's pretty easy. And if I didn't, then I'm going to find my lessons learned and, and figure out how I can make it happen as quickly as possible. But I already know I'm going to do it. Uh, achievable, we talked about that, relevant and time-bound. So just pick your goal. And you can maybe just share your goal in the comments below and say, I'm done. I Smart goal and then say what your goal is, right? And you can make it succinct and bring it down to one sentence and we'll know that it has met the SMART framework. Any questions on this? Because blah, 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 today I'm kind of hyper. If I can help you with this, hit me up. Otherwise, have fun with this. The, the reason we're going through the process every month for each of the different areas and aspects of our life is so we become so comfortable with it that we install it in our subconscious and we just automatically do this. When we think about something that we want in an area or aspect of our life, we will automatically have this process ingrained in our subconscious and we'll set it up so that it is that we've, we've formed the gap and all the steps to fill the gap along the way. And that's what this process is all about. So if I can help anybody ask, otherwise I'll be here tomorrow. Have an awesome day.